Hey guys, what's up? We've got another Fairpoint video and this one is inspired by Impractical Jokers where they do focus group presentations with really silly presentations. And so the video you're about to see is one that features Canino, Brandon, and Villart. And what the focus group in that room does not know is that each of the presenters did not make their own presentation. They have no idea what's in their own presentation, but they made a silly presentation for another one of the presenters. So Canino's presentation is made by Ballart. Brandon's presentation was made by Canino and Ballart's presentation was made by Brandon. So we hope you enjoy the video. Thank you everyone for being here today. Um, these guys, they're uh, some of my honors media students and they're actually running a project where they wanted a focus group because uh, we're working with the administration and they've asked us to prepare ideas for school improvements and so what we wanted to do is test it with idea, uh, test those ideas with uh, people in the school, students, and see their reactions. Um, they're going to be restricted to 30 seconds per slide, so it doesn't drone on and on. Each presentation is like five slides each, so it's not, you know, eternal. Uh, but yeah, Canino's going to go first. Um, he's uh, the one up here. I'll be controlling the the keyboard from from back there. So uh, yeah, Canino, any any last words? Uh, here we go. Okay. So, make FCS better by me, in case you couldn't tell. So the first idea is a new curriculum, and it's going to be IRS Evasion 101. As you all know, there's a lot of memes on the internet about school not teaching how to do taxes, and we want to be better than that at FCS. We want to teach how to not do taxes by skipping taxes. And so for that, we've had rev this revolutionary class. It teaches you this very special life skill that billionaires like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos use a lot in their daily lives. And if they use it, I feel like you guys should use it too. All right? And the next curriculum idea is the history of vegetarians. Vegetarians are a very underspoken group in our society, and we feel like it's important to teach them, to teach their history in order to better integrate them into our society. For this, we've wondered, this class is worth one history credit, and it replaces geography from last year, as you know, and provides valuable information that no one has ever cared to ask for. This is because it's very boring. Aliens. We love them. This is club one idea. So basically, the club exists to find out if aliens exist. Now, the Bible doesn't say much on aliens, but we here at FCS, at least I do, promote an alien-centric idea. Now, we're going to be having monthly trips to random orange groves around Miami, and we're going to, due to COVID restrictions, where there's no Area 51 this trip this year. That's usually what we're going to do next year, but sadly, not this year. Finally, the second club idea is to learn Braille. Braille is an underused skill in our society. A lot of media is in Braille, especially online, where you have to put over the screen like this. But sadly, no one ever learns it for some reason. This is, uh, this is an important skill to help better vertically integrate our disabled people into society. Another thing is school improvement number one, roll call ankle monitor. Now, I'm sure you've seen the new improvement we made to the FCS media announcements, which is the school board detention list. But we feel this, this as if this is not extreme enough. We've had a student who's been skipping a lunch detention for a very long while now. So we've had this thing. Students will skip class much less, and it also saves teacher time because everyone can use it for roll calls. As well as this, it's a fashionable, new, trendy item. Another thing is the CDC Overlord. I don't actually know what CDC stands for, but I'm assuming that these guys in masks do, so we're going to ask them, hey guys in masks, what does CDC stand for? Um, what does CDC stand for? I have no clue. You have no clue what no. CDC stands for? No. But you're a guy in a mask. Um. Sir, <laughs> sir, what does CDC stand for? Uh, this isn't a joke, this is a very serious presentation. You shouldn't be laughing. Uh, uh, is that all you can say, or is it like we we have thirty seconds per slide? We wasted like twenty already. I still have all these points to go, and it's over. Thank you guys for coming to my presentation. I worked really hard on this. I appreciate you all being here. No, thank you. If we must. Okay. Okay. So here. Uh, this is make better FCS, not make FCS better. Uh, Florida Christian School. Welcome the Patriots of England. Or yes. 
This is banned suspicious handling of salmon. I, you know, people walk around school with salmon all the time. I don't know why they do that. It's so weird, suspicious. Who wants to do something like that? So we, we should follow the great United Kingdom example. It's really a slippery slope. So, he, <laughs> here we have start the Queen's crew. <laughs> All this, um, society of loyal subjects of Her Royal Highness. The Queen Elizabeth Duchess of Eden Club would send monthly tribute to Her Majesty in order to help fund Her Majesty's extensive tree tea drinking habits. Oh, you, you want me to... Okay, um, are you sure? No. <laughs> okay. Change all spelling to proper British spelling. As you can see, this lovely man here, probably Winston Churchill or something. Um, American America needs to return to its proper British roots. No rights for us. Remember that. Change starts at the bottom. And take hypersync to court. So no, make hypersync a court jester of the Queen's crew. This would increase participation of the crew to include hypersync fans. Would provide a show for the queen when she, when she visits. And important, when the queen visits, make sure he doesn't snap. All right? Uh, she doesn't snap. I read that wrong. Sorry, everyone. And that's the British actor. Re reform health class to remove all mentions of teeth brushing, you know? You know how the way they are in England. They're just built that way. So we would improve the we would improve the dental hygiene of the school to be more like Britons by doing this. By vertically vertically integrates us with the British. I vertically. I don't know. Maybe you brush your teeth vertically. Introduce archery class, mandatory for all men. As you can see here. I mean you can join if you want, but it's mandatory for men. You see all that? Uh, Target would consist of frogs dressed up in Frenchman clothes. Really? I mean, this is the perfect example of a Frenchman right here. Materials provided by funds saved from toothpaste. All right, so if we don't pay for toothpaste, we get this glorious class. And that is my presentation, everyone. Thank you. All right, Yeah, I get you. Uh, Hi, everyone. My name is Andres Ballard. Today, I will be in improvements for FCS. So, let's begin. It's, it's not working. Click <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next slide. All right, so Chinese language. Um, as you all know, China will eventually take us over, sooner or later. So we should all learn Chinese, um, as my good friend John Jin over here. We should learn uh, CCP history as we talked about in that uh, CCP talks video. A lot of people didn't know a lot of stuff. And um, like how we know nothing happened on June 4th, 1989. I don't even know what happened. So let's not talk about it because we're going to get canceled, right? Um, critical race theory. Who is the oppressor? Let me ask you that much. Who is it? Nobody knows, but we'll find out in this new groundbreaking class. <laughs> Worth at least one history credit, by the way. As we learned here, this is an oppressing family. Can we all agree on that? Can we all agree on that? Like, look at that face. That is an oppressing face right there, if you ask me. Terrifying. Terrifying. Little oppressor. That is the oppressor. We found her. Come take the class. You won't regret it. Learn, learn how to read Upside Down Club. Who wouldn't want to learn up to read Upside Down? I mean, it's an, uh, it's a, I'm an expert at it. I'm practically almost observing learning scenarios. <laughs> Classroom learning scenario. So, you know, we, we heard about the, the Braille. Obviously, it's a real eye-opener, eye but now we can do the, the Upside Down Club. Learn how to read Upside Down. You know what I'm saying? Father Harrison Worship Club. Learn how to worship our Father. He will... His will for our lives and our school is what we need to focus on in this club. So, I think that we should really wo focus on worshiping Father Harrison. Teachers need to stop being hypocrites. That's facts. I see him every day. This guy right here, cutting in front of the line. And this is a big school improvement if everyone will just get in line and just take their time. He always cuts in line, just like every other teacher. And I'm there starving, dying. And when I get to class, I have two minutes to eat my lunch. Don't you guys agree? 
I think I'd agree too. This is awful. This is so terrible. Terrible. Spanish only cafeteria. <laughs> Stop making the lunch ladies more difficult. Just speak Spanish. It'll count. We will allow the Spanish credit. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, I, I see them every day in this struggling, struggling so hard. You just, I want my rice and beans. And they're like, it's, it's just really tough. You guys got to learn how to speak Spanish. So I think we should only have a Spanish only cafeteria. That would, that would make things a lot easier. If you ask me. And that would be the end of the presentation. Thank you. What's an improvement that all of you think would really help the school? Yeah, what stuck out to you? By show of hands, who do you think Brandon's was most effective? Come on, give me those three votes. So three votes. What about mine? One vote. And Canino. One yeah! Vote. So Brandon, oh! Brandon's the winner? Yeah, I am the winner. Brandon's the winner. All right, guys, thank you so much. We appreciate it. That's all, you can go to class now. Yeah.